We start with a big number we're keeping an eye on. That big number today is 83. Yes. Well, here's the thing. A new study indicates your odds of testing positive for COVID-19 may drop 83% when wearing a K95 or KN95 mask and a 56% lower risk for those wearing a cloth mask. And remember, just two years ago, we didn't even know, we didn't even have the data that masks can protect the person wearing them. They were primarily to protect others, so we've come a long way. Yeah. We have, and speaking of that, uh, in some ways, a lot of people who've had COVID, especially this recent wave of Omicron, might feel like... We're invincible, yeah. right? Um, but you have <laughs> you have a new study out that shed some light on post-COVID symptoms. Yep, just out, and I think you and I kind of share that feeling a little bit. But this latest study is really the first one to stratify the risks of post-COVID syndrome based on age and severity. So they followed people for 150 days after diagnosis in non-hospitalized patients, in particular younger patients, 20 years of age and up, the most common symptoms that tended to linger, shortness of breath, fatigue, and sleep disorders. If patients were hospitalized, they tended to note fatigue and a new diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. This, while common uh, overall because so many millions of people were affected, is still pretty uncommon, just about 2% of all COVID cases. So we have to remember, this potentially could affect millions of people. And you too, post-COVID issues at all? You all recently had it and... Huh? Just the calf strain. I think... <laughs> Yeah. That's a new side effect yeah. of COVID. I'm going to blame COVID. <laughs> That's happened right. one time. <laughs> to discover. But hey, as you always say, it only takes one. That's right. <laughs> All right. Another question here, Dr. Ashton, has to do with a new treatment possibly for depression? Yeah. So this is an area of intense research. It's micro dosing on hallucinogens. Uh, really kind of exciting in the world of psychiatry. Obviously, there are risks if large amounts are taken, can cause psychosis, nausea, vomiting, even potentially death. Currently, this is a scheduled one controlled substance with, in general, quote, no accepted medical use, but research is ongoing for hard to treat depression, and there are legal battles here to change that designation with some pe people in the world of psychiatry and mental health saying, we should expand this so more people can potentially uh, use it, but we are following this closely. Really interesting. Appreciate you keeping it on our radar as always. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.